Okay, so I'm cleaning this for the second time because this is the emulsion tube and it's got these tiny little holes in it. And when I pulled this out, when I finally got it out, uh, it was it was so caked with stuff and that goes right where the main jet where the main jet goes down into here. So it was kind of tough to get out of there. It's like nobody ever cleaned it before. And I had to take um, actually um, a plastic or don't use anything metal. Um, figure out what you can for that diameter and just start tapping it through and it comes out this end. So we're gonna clean all this up right now. Had it sitting in the carburetor cleaner for about half hour. Rinse it off with water. And we gotta make sure all these little holes are unplugged so there's some, I can see that this is still plugged. That one's not, it's just one that is pretty much. But we're gonna get the, all that clean. <clears throat> and put this back in. Okay, I was able to get that emulsion tube uh, pretty clear, very clear. It was not even functioning before. It was so clogged up. What I needed to do on two of these little holes is I just used the end of this needle very lightly and pressed in like that and then used compressed air like really tight and blew, blew two of these holes out that wouldn't clean up very easily. Then I polished this way with 1000 grit um, just lightly and I've got it pretty good so I'm taking this carburetor completely apart right now we're on the we're on the center slide where the needle where the needle goes in and it's good to have one of these magnetic tipped um, JIS Japanese industry standard um, uh, Phillips head it works really well I've got yeah don't lose those screws so this twists and then just pulls out and there's the two screws and then here's our needle jet and this is the original one that was in it I measured this between the rebuild kit and this seems to have a little more girth to it and it's a just a tiny bit longer by a couple of points so I've got this set in the middle position. This one's set. The higher up you go, the leaner, the more down you go, the richer. So I'm gonna leave this in the middle and use the, the standard one, um, or the one that came with the carb. And I just wanted to check that. So we'll be putting that right back down in the center. And you gotta take this little tang lines up with this. And you turn it. You gotta look down and you see the screw holes in there. Get a screw loaded onto here magnetically and bring it in. I've done this like so many times that um, it's like second nature now. Um, it's a real pain in the ass just to change the little setting on that. Um, I played around with a lot. Uh, I played around with it a lot until, you know, I just gave up and took it apart like eight or nine times, maybe, um, adjusting stuff. 
And then I was on a forum and they were talking about that emulsion tube that I just cleaned. And I had never done that and I don't think anybody's ever done that. Um, so now we've got, I'm gonna make sure these are pretty good. Um, yep, that still has a little ways to go. I'm just like, sure it's in there decent. There. Not, don't, do not over wrench. So we got that. Um, we'll be going back to that. Um, we could just assemble the whole top. Um, yeah, so this little ridge right here, there's a tang inside. You might not be able to see it, but this will just fall down. You just position it. Um, there. Bring this in here. I don't know if I need to, but I'm going to put a tiny dab of grease in this button area right there where this uh, where this main shaft goes into. Hang on. So I'm just going to take the ever so tiniest amount and just put a little dab inside of that pocket right there, and that's it. And I'm using uh, just the Sil Glide lubricating compound, non-melting, non-freezing. Um, so from there, let's see, put this shaft in. We're going to be screwing into the top here. So just put that shaft in that far. We've got this bushing, and uh, this bushing goes right on, oop, right on to there. Come on, all right. Okay, here we go. Bushing goes on to there. And then this piece comes down in and just line it up with the shaft right there and um, there we go. Okay, we lined up with that bolt hole that's in the shaft right here, and we have a bolt, a locking washer, and a locking plate. And that will go down into here. I want to kind of have that locking plate so the tab is um, on the outside. Oops, I'll just drop that out of here. You can see I've been bending it quite a bit. Um, get that so the curve, the flat end is in there. Maybe it's supposed to be the other way, but that's how I found it. Um, get this bolt in here. Get it started. Just play with that and get it get it going. And this is um. What is this? Uh, this is a seven millimeter, little seven millimeter ratchet works good. <clears throat> just snug it up. Don't over tighten it. <clears throat> And we'll just take that tang and move it back up. I usually have a little hammer. I'll strike it. <clears throat> uh, yeah. <clears throat> That's good. <clears throat> uh, next, let's see, I don't want to forget. So we got that going on. We could put the cover back on. The gasket right here. And your plate. And these screws are all the same size. They're beveled. Get these started. Hopefully I'm still in frame here. So it's a little hot out, I'm sweating. <laughs> or that, would that be humidity? Uh, it's humidity. Not too bad though. It's 
been real nice lately. <clears throat> Just bring all these down in. And this is the whole, pretty much the whole top end. I've taken this apart so many times. I hope the emulsion tube thing, it should make a big improvement. I mean, that's the whole point of a carburetor is getting that mist, that spray mist just correct for everything else, with the air intake and then what the valves want and stuff like that. So this piece right here goes on, goes on here. Well, first we got to put on the, um, to put the spring in and that's pretty much straightforward the bigger end goes on there first that's there this little piece is easy to hook up um so we'll put the lock washer on and then uh where'd that nut go oh, there it is right there this is an 11 millimeter nut um this is all just mainly for these little wrenches work good. This is for the 645B, I think it is. Let me look. Let me double check that. Um, so just lock that in there good. Get that spring and bring that. Oh, come on. Yeah, so. It's really not that difficult, but... I'm making it more difficult because I already locked it down. It's easier if it's not tightened. Back it off a little bit. Come back in and get that. Shoot. Alright, here we go. Real life. Oh baby. And I've I've done this so many times. This little there we go. Don't lose any of your little parts either. It's very important. Some of these are hard to find. Um all right, let's lock this back down. That's good. So, I'm functioning. Um, all right. Next, um, go to the low end, and we'll put this. Let's see. Is there a number on there? I don't see a number. Okay. This end goes in first because it bottoms out up in up in the uh, needle area. So, put that in. And I think I'm going to need a little stick or something to tap that in a little bit, so hang on. All right, here we go. Let's try this to start with. Oh, it went right in. Um, I'm kind of check. I got that all closed now, darn it. But in there, it looks like it's seated. You can see how it's sticking up in there a little bit. Just like that. That's the bushing. That's the end of it right there. This larger spot. I think it's in. I'll give it another couple little taps. Yep. Um, so there's that. Now, and here we don't need this around. Um, what would be next? Um, I'm going to do the the float valve thing right here. This goes in like this. This is supposed to be seated really good. Or does it go like that or does it go the other way? I think it's the other way. Yes or no? I don't think that's the right way. I'm just trying to remember. In that way. And then this little, the pointy end goes in that way, like that. 
and then we have a retainer um, I think it goes on like this pretty sure no it goes on the other this is the angle like that if you can see that so it's sort of pushing down on it and then put this screw in Snug that in nice. Oh, we got a truck coming. Uh oh. Oh no. Hang on. All right, so I had a little distraction there, so we were left off at the needle valve um, for the float. And next we put the float in, and there's a little pin right here. And what side goes in which? I think this goes in like this. Could be wrong. It's sort of tapered a little bit. Looks like somebody actually made it. That might not be the right way. Forgot which way I tapped it out. Who's this way? <clears throat> Make sure it lines up with that. You don't want to break the post on this thing. There we go. Just give it a little tap at the end of the screwdriver or something. Just like that. And the next thing, a very critical part, is adjusting your float height. And you want to have that. It's just touching that compressing thing. If you can see that, I'm gonna bring it up closer. And just touching that, and then measure. I already have this set to twenty. This carburetor is twenty-nine millimeters. Uh, pretty darn close. I've been playing with this a lot lately. Um, actually, that's off. So I'm not going to bore everybody with setting this. I'm going to goof around because I want to make sure this is right. Supposed to be 29 millimeters. I was just touching. Yeah, it's a little low. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's a little bit low. So I gotta adjust that, and you adjust it by tweaking this. I'll put a screwdriver in here and bend it a little bit. All right, so I got it pretty close. So you just have to work with this and make sure both of them are even. It's very, very, very close. Um, so next I'll put the low level jet, um, or the slow uh, jet in. And that goes right down here. I think this reacts with the emulsion tube that we cleaned, or that I cleaned. I'll put this right in. Try not to mess up the float. Maybe I'll measure that one more time, but... Right. there's that this is the main jet right here this is a 120 and somebody was saying it should go down to 115 but we're putting that in for now Let's see what we've got and then this piece right here you can see how it locks in and it goes over this this uh, little area right there so you push that in like that and then in that groove clip it over and it's in so at this point we just put the um, the bowl back on make sure it's, this has been cleaned too plenty of times just line that up um, we'll put our four screws in It's 
get these started. I've already put new gaskets in and stuff when I did the first rebuild. This is probably, well, this is another rebuild, actually, going all the way in like that. I just want to show how this whole thing's put together. And yes, you should go a crisscross. But I didn't. That's good. Double check. All right. So another thing is my, this is my idle mixture um, screw, and I was, I was working on it a couple of times back. Um, I noticed there was a piece of rubber in there with my inspection scope, and that did that was all deteriorated during the cleaning process. And I tried to make another one and put it in and just went to a friend's house and he had this sitting there. And it looks like it might be perfect. I'm going to see if it slides down in there all right. Looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit big. Um, these parts are hard to find. So yeah, if I put this on, is that going to work? I don't know. The diameter... I want something close to this washer and that's that's the original washer that was in there so and also I have to put this on first the washer goes on here and I'll just throw this thing in there and see what happens it was doing something last time but it wasn't really adjusting it much so here goes the mixture screw let's see if that pushes down in well I don't know maybe hmm I'm going to have to play with this. Maybe we'll have to go with this one. And just put it on here or something. I think it goes like that. Um, we'll try this one out. It looks like the same size as the washer. And then we need a flat head for that. I put that away already. All right, what you wanna do is screw this all the way in. Just till it bottoms out like that. Don't force it. And then you back it out. You count one whole turn and then a quarter just to start with. I'm gonna take that back out and see how that um that uh, rubber bushing um or that little grommet did. And basically oh I didn't I got that screwdriver right there, but um this is the 645B in uh, made in Japan carburetor for the XL250 it's a 31 millimeter <clears throat> let's just take a little look at this it looks like it's nothing's hanging up in there so I might be good I'm going to put it back on the bike and see if it runs.